Hey everyone, welcome to the show. So this is breaking news this morning. According to several news outlets, I think the AP Associated Press is the one that broke the story though. Alex Jones has asked the court to sell off his assets. He is saying to, you know, help him pay the $1.5 billion in defamation, uh, the judgment against him and his companies resulting from his bogus comments, his, you know, vile, heinous claims that the Sandy Hook Elementary School massacre, mass shooting was not real. So he has apparently asked the judge to drop his bankruptcy petition. He's asking the judge to convert the bankruptcy into a Chapter 7 liquidation. So in the court filing, his attorneys told the, the judge, quote, there is no reasonable prospect of a successful reorganization of Jones' debts. Now, The Guardian is reporting that this would, you know, possibly end Jones' ownership of InfoWars, his, his popular site, you know, popular with the fringe right, the lunatic right, the QAnon uh, group on the right. Uh, but you know, it's important to remember, he would still retain his house, he would still own his personal belongings, those are exempt under bankruptcy laws. So it's not like he's going to be destitute out in the street, you know, living in a van down by the river. I mean, he's not going to be <laughs> living in a box under a bridge somewhere. He still has a very nice home from what I understand and a, a lot of nice things. So we'll see what happens with this. I, there's a uh, hearing on the 14th of this month. So in about a week, there, the judge is going to look at this and decide what to do. But we'll see, you know, it would help him pay for part of it. And then, you know, let's be real. He's just going to go start a new company, start something with a similar name and make money. Uh, so I don't know. I, I don't know what what that does and where that leaves the families of the victims and if they can go after the new company. You know, I'm not an attorney, not definitely not a bankruptcy attorney or, or steeped in bankruptcy law. So um, if we have any in the viewing audience, if you could leave a, a message below, let me know what where where this leaves the families, you know, if they're going to be SOL after he liquidates and gives them whatever he he can come up with. Um, I know that he was for many years accused of hiding money offshore, hiding money in other people's names and family members' names and, and whatnot. He even did that in his divorce. So Guy is an all-around scumbag, and that is being generous. Anyway, uh, but you know, gay frogs and all that. That's the kind of stuff that his audience likes to hear about. All right. I will let you know when I hear more. Thank you all so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, and subscribe. Please donate if you can. Links are below in the description box on YouTube and the podcast. Love you all. Take care. Talk with you soon.